what is going on you guys it is scorpion red tarot back at it again to let you know what is going on with the divine masculine for today thursday uh, March the 7th and tomorrow March the 8th which is Friday thank you guys again for tuning in thank you to everyone who's like shared and my new subscribers big up to y'all what's going on you guys if anyone would like to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab there is a hyperlink at the bottom in the link section that says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me again at Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me okay if this video resonates and you want to you know send a dollar to there's a link for my paypal in the description and thank you guys so much for the support and share and love and light let's get into the reading thank you so much father god for bringing us here today please give us guidance for the divine masculine for march the 7th and the 8th this thursday and friday thank you so much for covering us thank you so much for keeping us in the highest of all high energy and positive thoughts and um, progressive movements Please give the Divine Masculine guidance for the 7th and the 8th of March 2019. Thank you again, Father God, for waking us up, feeling refreshed and renewed. Able to, um, you know, do everything a better way and to make things a better day each and every day. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give the Divine Masculine guidance for Thursday and Friday, March the 7th and 8th, 2000. 19 thank you again all right you guys let's get it all right all right you guys all right let's see what we got here Right, Divine Masculine, you better come on out. So today, got the Magician Energy. Tomorrow, you starting off with the Four of Wands. Ooh. Who you celebrating with, sir? Ooh. Feeling real powerful. Feeling like, you know, you can make anything happen. Feeling real powerful. All right, Divine Masculine, I'm loving that. I'm loving it. Let's see what we have in regards to... Spiritual guidance from above. Thank you so much. Angel therapy. And clear cognizant. I can never say that. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like the divine masculine may be going through something weird. I feel like they've been getting a lot of messages and um, spiritual divine guidance that they are like blocking. And not paying attention to the messages and the divine energy from above I think they're just looking at it like uh new direct come on divine masculine not paying attention to the signs what I told you not paying attention to the signs and it's not in like a bad way um I just they just not paying attention to the spiritual messages in regards to the overall big picture of what um God has been trying to show them the law of nature what you put out you get back as above so below that is something that the magician is a journey of the magician for him to go through it's like yeah you have all of this power but you got to understand with that power comes great responsibility what you put out you get back tenfold you understand so you can't be abusive with your power and be sneaky and be manipulative and try to will your way, you know what I'm saying? Just because you can do it, you know. This is Seven of Cups and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got in regards to the energy for the seventh and the eighth. Angel of strength, angel of love. Can you get that heart chakra together before you get to 
Friday. You can get your heart to come before the weekend comes Divine Masculine. I like the Divine Masculine, you know, they're trying to go in a new direction. And they're not trying to make any more. They're not trying to choose the wrong cups anymore. They're tired of, you know. They're tired of the constant, constant, constant recycle energy. I feel like they keep, they keep making the same mistake. And they don't want to keep making the same mistake. Lost in the anime love of trash can. Hmm. So that was um the ten of swords and the nine of cups. Alright, you guys, so let's get into the energy for today for the divine masculine. Alright. So off the break, like I said, we got the magician. Divine masculine is feeling very powerful. I feel like they're getting their they're getting their mojo back, honestly. They are regaining their strength. They regaining you know, just the way that they look at their self. I feel like they woke up and they looked at their self in the mirror like, you know what, I could do this. I can overcome this. Whatever it is that I'm trying to do, wherever it is that I want to go, whatever it is that will make me truly happy in this world, I know that I can, I know that I can make it happen. You know, they just woke up feeling real powerful today. Um, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of things that they're blocking in regards to just the overall messages. I feel like the angels been dropping little feathers, little coins, just little signs here and there, here and there. And I feel like they're just like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, that's, that's some bullshit. I feel like almost like, I don't want to say like they're scared or anything like that, but it's just like they don't want, really want to look at it like it's real. Like, you know, God can't really, that can't really be a message, you know, from God. It says, give your cares and worries to us, angel, and allow us to take your burdens. Yeah. Um. And that's what they're saying, like, you're not really coming to them. You're not giving them the burdens so that you could really, um, you know, move forward in this new direction. But you're moving forward in this new direction. But I feel like you feel so, so powerful right now, Divine Masculine. It's like, you're not taking the... the you're not taking the, chance, um, the second to, like, really kneel down and pray and just purge, you know. And that's what you need to do. You need to talk to God and you just, like, need to purge. Even if you got to cry, you know what I'm saying? Purge it out. Give it to God. And just rest assured that you'll be okay. And go forth on that new direction. Because at the end of the day, the bigger thing, the most important thing for the Divine Masculine is they're on this new direction. And they decided to stop making the same choices over and over and over and over again that was leading them nowhere. They're finally ready to go on this new direction. They want abundance. They have seen the light. You know, certain things have been illuminated to them about not anybody else, but it was their decisions that they were making, you know, trying to find emotional fulfillment in things that didn't emotionally end up working out for them at all, gave them more trouble than it really did the joy that they were temporarily getting at that moment. You know, temporary joy and satisfaction turned into a, a lifetime of pain for them. And they just tired of making the same mistakes. And they're ready to take this new direction knowing how to be emotionally grounded and make the right decisions. So that's where they're at right now. That's where they're at. But I feel like it's something that the Divine Masculine is worrying about. And God just wants you to come to them and just, it just give them your burdens. Because I honestly do feel like the Divine Masculine, his heart is trying to heal right now because he does feel backstabbed and betrayed he does feel backstabbed and betrayed by someone okay and he doesn't feel like it's safe to love now and i feel like that is the true burden in regards to the divine masculine they're moving forward but just not in love you know and love is just like mentally this ain't the time for me right now 
and I'm just ready to move on and matters of the heart is just not important to the divine masculine right now at all it's not at all mm -mm. let's give um let's dig a little deeper please give me some guidance for the divine masculine in regards to today in regards to opening up his heart feeling backstabbed and betrayed and um, it's not feeling safe to love right now. Please give the divine. Oh, okay. Let's see what this say. Big dreams, lack of nurturing, shadow work, and release. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So spirit is trying to tell divine masculine this. Please keep your eyes focused on the big dreams. Okay. Keep your eyes focused on the big dreams. Oh, what does it say? It's numbing numbing focus on the big dreams and stop numbing yourself and i really do feel like that's what you were doing here you were numbing yourself in this in this stage you were just numbing yourself with whatever was offering itself to you you know and you realized that I need to stop doing this because it's only a temporary satisfaction and it's like bringing me a lifetime of pain and I have to focus on the big picture. And you see that moon in the back. That's basically telling the divine masculine to use your intuition and focus on the big picture and stop numbing your pain in this toxic way. Do you understand? It's something that you have to dig deep inside. You have to do that shadow work and really dig in the shadows and find out what it is and why it is. Do you understand that you don't know how to adequately give your love and you were continuously making the wrong decisions selecting the wrong cuts and i feel like for a lot of the divine masculines they had the big picture the big dream in front of them but they continuously knew that they was selecting something that wasn't good for them but it just was fun it was thrilling at that time and it's like was almost like i don't care about the consequences because right now i'm it's it's numbing to me I, i'm i'm enjoying myself at the moment like i know it's going to turn out to something that I really don't want to deal with. But right now, it's giving me that sensation, you know? And you have to focus on what's bigger. And you have to, you know, stop numbing yourself in that way. Really focus on the shadows of what's deep, deeply going inside and release that shit. You need to release it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to get to a point where you're able to release this, okay? And, um, hmm, let's dig. Let's see what the shadow has to say. Let's get some guidance in regards to today what the Divine Masculine can focus on in regards to releasing certain, some of those toxic energies and the shadows. Because they're moving forward in that new direction. They feel powerful. But you have to open up your heart. You have to release certain things. You know, in order to get to that point and to select the, the correct options in life and in love, period. And not take that gamble. It's like, uh, selling out the, the pill. Insecure. Escapist. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. it says sell out. I hate this card. But it says sell out. I feel like Divine Masculine got to stop selling itself out. I feel like for some reason, I feel like the Divine Masculine gets itself into commitments that he know that it's a front for him because it's something deep inside of him that he knows that's not who he is. You see what I'm saying? And I don't want to keep putting that card up because I hate that card. But anyway, I feel like um, he gets into these commitments because it feels good at the time. And then he gets repelled by them because... It is, it is asking for a certain level of commitment. It's asking for a certain level of dedication and attention. And that's just not who they are. Because I feel like the Divine Masculine does battle a certain level of insecurity that they really need to 
look in the mirror and you know like why do you commit yourself to to things that you know that you're really repelled by you know what i'm saying like i feel like even right now like the divine masculine might be in a commitment and doing wrong do you see what i'm saying because it's something about being in a situation or an organization or you know having to give that much of their self to like they that's just not who they are they're actually truly repelled by it but um it's something that they're dealing with where they're insecure and it's it's not and, and this is not shocking to them them keep going through these patterns because they've been through it before this is not shocking they know that they battle with this insecurity or whatever this issue is they know that they battle with this thing and that's why they act like this escapist and it's like instead of me facing you know and really addressing what's going on here they just run away and that's just their way and that's how they deal with things and Honestly, in order for the Divine Masculine to find a healthy way to open up their heart to people and and honestly, this is what I feel like here. I don't this is the Divine Masculine looking at someone that he slain and backstabbed, you know? And it's like he's looking at what he's done. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's why he doesn't feel that it's safe to love because I feel like he might sell himself out and hurt somebody like this again. And somehow he don't know how to not get himself in these type of commitments. He, You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, and I feel like right now the Divine Masculine is repelled by a commitment like this because he feels like that he would sell sell himself out again and commit himself to something that he ain't really really want to be in for real and he wants to release this type of energy he wants to make right decisions he wants to be able to get into something that he's committed in something that in a situation with someone who he's going to adore not going to you know have to run away again that's honestly what i'm feeling like the divine masculine feels and he's just like i know what i've done I know what I've done, and that's why I just don't. I don't feel he he don't feel safe to love right now. It is no, he doesn't. He does not feel safe to love right now because it's like I've done so much to hurt so many people. You know what I'm saying? It's just I feel like this is like maybe a self check reality moment for the divine masculine. Like maybe he's reflecting, and he's just like it's time for me to take a new direction because. I can't keep, I can't keep doing this. I can't, you know, I can't keep doing this. It's time to take a new direction. But you need to give it to God. You need to, you need to really talk humbly to God and really give it to God. And, you know, you're getting your power back and you're really getting the strength and you're, you're really stepping into who you are and understanding your gifts and understanding how to use it with a conscience, you know, having a conscience about what you're doing. And that's what um, the Divine Masculine is going through right now, today, on the 7th of March, okay? And that magician energy, all right? All right, so let's see what we got in regards to tomorrow, Friday the 8th. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I feel like the Divine Masculine, um, he's been celebrating and I feel like he has accomplished something that he's really passionate about and he feels really, really good about it. And um, I feel like he's been really enjoying himself where he's about to enjoy something that uh, I feel like he's been waiting on. Not only that, I feel like um, he might possibly be wanting to reunite with someone as you know this is the marriage card the, the celebration the reunion card um i feel like you know divine masculine is going to be very very passionate about something on uh friday and he might be going out to celebrate as you can see he this person is celebrating they're like coming home to victory and um mm. 
This says, pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered players. And then here's the signs, all right? So, it, and then this right here is the Knight of Swords. So, I'm just taking this as someone, um, okay. So, you want... To possibly have a reunion, you want to reunite, you want to have good times, and you want to you want to celebrate again. You just want things to kind of be back to way used to the way that you used to enjoy your life. Um, I feel like you've been getting a lot of thoughts and ideas, and possibly a lot of signs, and I feel like you've been ignoring them. And also, I do feel like in this Knight of Swords energy, I feel like. The Divine Masculine, just his energy as of recently, it's just been very... Um, I feel like you might be snappy or something like that. It's like you're trying to get into control of a situation where... It's, it's like you're trying to be in... You see how he... This is like some dominatrix type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, You see him. And you see everybody looking at him like, What the fuck? What's going on? What? What? He, uh, uh. Okay. So... I feel like the Divine Masculine isn't paying attention to a lot of signs, to how aggressive that he may be coming off. Sorry about that interruption, you guys. But as I was saying, I feel like you guys are possibly not paying attention to signs. All right? And not, not only that, I feel like you guys have been realizing that you may... Um, be coming off a little bit aggressive for some reason. That you maybe need to soften up, soften up your approach. I, I honestly feel like for some reason the Divine Masculine has been um, kind of in a place where they've been kind of really stressing out. Trying to make certain changes and make things different. And I feel like they're focusing so hard on certain things and I do feel like they did feel and they still do feel backstabbed and betrayed by someone or somebody and I also feel like they're looking back at their work and what they've done you know and I I don't feel like that they are really seeing things clearly you know I don't I don't think that they are really seeing the whole picture you know and I do feel like that they have been a little bit aggressive right now because they're in a search of trying to, I feel like they really do want to reconnect with somebody. They really do want to reconnect with somebody. And I do feel like they don't feel like they have control of that situation. And I feel like that might be what's making them aggressive and mad. But they are working on their strength here. They are working on their strength. And right now... I feel like the reason why they are a tad bit aggressive right now is because, you know, they're still working on the control, trying to control certain aspects of their temptation. You see that beast? I feel like it's certain things that tempt them. And I do see a lot of cups there. So um, I feel like the Divine Masculine may be drinking a lot and that might be making them a little bit aggressive. And I do feel like they've been trying to fill their cup with something that wasn't really truly fulfilling to them and was making them a nasty person and now they are recognizing that and they're trying to control that beast I feel the Divine Masculine is truly trying to um, they're trying to avoid and fight certain levels of temptations of things that they know don't really add up to true emotional fulfillment to them, okay? They're trying to be strong and avoid these things because you see that angel right there? The Divine Masculine really wants to be fulfilled with something that is truly a blessing to him that is God sent. He's just like, God, please just send me some answers. Please send me a blessing. Just please, I'm just tired of being this way. I just, I'm, I'm looking for something different. And... The way that I've been doing it hasn't been the right way. So you told me to come to you and bring me, bring you my burdens. I'm bringing it to you. And I'm asking you to please fulfill, I mean, to fill this cup up. And as you can see, that little, um, what is that? The little cornucopia, little 
thing. Normally, that little, you see this thing in her hand? Normally, it's sitting at Thanksgiving time. You see pictures of that thing, and it has, like, fruit and all type of food and stuff, like, falling out of it. And it's like, God, please fulfill, fulfill, just, yeah, fulfill my destiny. I just want to be on my path, and I want to be happy, and I just want you to guide me there, honestly. Because they, they're, they're trying to control themselves. And they weren't paying attention to the signs. And they weren't listening to their thoughts and, you know, in their head. That was guiding them to tell them to don't do this, to don't do that. They still was, because, you know, they, they felt that they could be in control of the situation. And they knew what the right thing was. Whole time, not even paying attention to who, who was paying attention to them. So there could have been a lot of gossip. There could have been a lot of rumors going around and like a verbal assault or attack that was going on talking about what you were doing and right now I feel like the divine masculine is like in a stage where it's like they <laughs> They've been drinking. I feel like they've been drinking a lot and they haven't been paying attention to the signs of that. It's something in them is telling them that they need to stop drinking. And that's something that they're trying to control. Um, I also feel like I said they're trying to control them feeling uh them feeling that they need to <laughs> I feel like the divine masculine likes kinky sex or they like to be watched or they like they like kinky sex or something about their sexual desires or the type of sex that they want or that they like or I don't know. I feel like it's something like that. I feel like there's some type of sexual urge that the divine masculine is trying to control and they don't know how to control it. It's like they can't figure out like how to control this urge and they weren't paying attention to the sign that you know, them needing to control this temptation was the thing that was leading them to this, you know, their cups not being filled. Because it was only temporary fulfillment. And they really need to free themselves of this burden. Do you understand? So that's what the Divine Masculine is going through. And I guess since I did it on the first spread, let's do it on this one. Um... Please give the Divine Masculine additional guidance for Friday. Alright. What is this celebration? What is this thing they want to reunite? What's going on? What's going on? Please clarify this friend. Thank you so much. Vibrations. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Divine masculine. Oh. But have you learned your lesson though? You train trying to get stuck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Divine Masculine. I'm reloading. Let's get into this. So basically what's been going on, I feel like this retrograde thing is running up in the Divine Masculine's ass, like for real, for real. And I feel like it's something, it's something or someone that the Divine Masculine wants, they want to celebrate with, they want to reunite with. It's something that they're attracted to, something that was a very passionate relationship, and it just gave them such a good positive vibration. And, you know, they want to see if you've been receiving their vibrations. And they feel like, Right now is honestly the divine time, and, and I really do feel like it has something to do with this retrograde. I feel like they've been getting signs, but they might be misinterpreting the signs, though. However, hmm, yeah, I feel like they've been getting some signs that that it's divine timing, and, and they feel like maybe that they've been praying to God. When is it okay to go back to the person that they truly love? And I feel like right now they've been really truly feeling in a high vibration because I told you, you know, today or, you know, Thursday, they're in a very positive vibration. And their whole thing is just like, look, 
I'm ready for this reunite, you know, for us to reunite. I wasn't listening to the thoughts in my head that I knew were true messages and I wasn't paying attention to the sign. And it's something that I've been fighting that I can't really put my hand on how to get a grip of it. And I know I could come off a little rude and nasty sometimes, but I'm trying to control that. I'm really just trying to let the Lord fill my cup up this time because I'm not, you know, I'm, I wasn't emotionally fulfilled by what I was doing. And I'm trying to free myself from the patterns. And that's why I want to reunite with you because you put my vibrations high, you know. I've been asking God to just send me a message, and I feel like that message has been received, and it is indeed divine timing, all right? I don't feel like the divine masculine has finished learning his lessons. Do you understand? He still has a lot of lessons to learn, and this is what he's going to tell you. I have a lot of lessons to learn, okay? But at the same time, I'm not going to learn them by continuously being stuck where I'm at and us not having no communication. Um, I need balance. And we have to, like, balance this situation because I feel like maybe the divine masculine walked away or the divine, the person that the divine masculine love walked away and they never, like, balanced the scales and kind of, like, come to a resolution about the situation. So, I feel like he might be looking for some closure or just trying to at least balance the scales in regards to the situation because I feel like the divine masculine is tired of this obsession of just like looking online, trying to looking at you online. Like they're tired of doing that. Like they want to be able to reach out and touch you and talk to you and stuff like that. They're tired of just being just an observer. They're tired of that. They're tired of that. So they're ready to reunite with the person that they love and they recognize that they haven't been listening to their true heart. They haven't been listening and paying attention to the signs in their head, you know, because they were honestly answer prayers. They were missing certain signs. They know that they got to control this, but they just don't know how to. But they're trying. They are trying because it wasn't fulfilling their cup. And they're trying to free themselves. It's time to get back control of your life. Indeed. All right, you guys. So this has been your reading for the Divine Masculine for Thursday and Friday. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Peace, love, and light. And I will see you guys this weekend. Peace.